Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix another error in a Windows operating system. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Errors in Windows are a commonplace thing, as they can emerge when you update the operating system, start a program, etc. This problem is nothing new and you can encounter it no matter what operating system you are using. Windows 10, 7 or 8. As I said before, uh, there are all kinds of situations when you see this error, but all of them fall into three typical patterns. When you start Windows Defender, when Windows Firewall is active, and most often when you try updating the operating system. It could happen because a system utility service or one of the services required for the system components to work properly is disabled for some reason. In today's video, we will have a look at all these cases and find out how to fix this error in Windows 10, 8 and 7. If you don't feel like rummaging through system processes and program settings, try rolling the operating system back to the last restore point. It can help you bring the system back to the condition when it worked properly. There is a special video on this topic, so find the link in the description. As you roll your windows back, recent documents and changes you have made to them may disappear, so I recommend that you back up all important data to another storage device. But if you are determined to find your way through the settings, welcome aboard! We will start with the most widespread cause of this error – updating Windows system components. While updating your operating system, you may see such an error notification. Installer encountered an error. The service cannot be started either because it is disabled or because it has no enabled device associated with it. The error notification itself contains a hint at what should be done. Quite often, it means that Windows Update service is currently disabled, so starting this service can fix the problem at once. To do it, Open the Run window by right-clicking on the Start menu or pressing the key shortcut Windows plus R. Now run the command services.msc. You will see the Services window. Alternatively, you can open it by uh, starting the Search function. Look for Windows Update Service. Right-click on it and select Properties. In the line Startup type, select Automatic and click Start. As soon as you start the Windows Update Service, you are not going to encounter this error anymore. Now, try to update the operating system once more. Sometimes uh, IP version 6 protocol can generate this error, so try disabling this protocol. To do it, open Settings, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings. Right click on the active network and select Properties. In the Properties window, find the line Internet Protocol version 6 TCP IP v6 and uncheck the box, then click OK. Restart the computer and try updating the operating system. Now let's examine the case when this error appears when starting the integrated antivirus program – Windows Defender. This is what the notification says. The service cannot be started either because it is disabled or because it has no enabled services associated with it. It is the same situation that we had in the previous case. Most likely, the corresponding service is disabled and it generates an error when you start Windows Defender. To enable the service, open the Services window and look for Windows Defender Antivirus Service. Right-click on it and select Properties. 
set the startup time to automatic and start the service. Now try opening the system antivirus again to see if this error appears again. And finally, let's see how to fix this error which appears when you are using Windows Firewall. For example, you start a game or an application which uses the internet connection and when such connection is requested, the firewall shows you this error notification. Here is what it says. Windows Firewall can't change some of your settings. You can fix the firewall issue in the same way as the previous two problems, but with a slight difference. It's quite possible that several services may be disabled at the same time. You will need to check the work of Windows Update Service, BITS, which stands for Background Intelligence Transfer Service, RPC, Remote Procedure Call, Cryptographic Services and Block Level Backup Engine Service. Open the Services window. First of all, find Windows Update Service and check if it is running. Then do the same for BITS, RPC and finally for Cryptographic Services and Block Level Backup Engine Service. If one of the services is disabled, right-click on it and select Properties. Set the startup type to automatic and start the service. In order to check the proper work of the system firewall, start all the services that have been stopped before. After the services mentioned before are enabled, try using Windows Firewall again. If it can't start and shows the error again, then try the following. Open Control Panel. Go to Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Enable the firewall for local and public networks. After that, the error should go away and you will be able to use the firewall properly. If this trick doesn't help, your computer must be infected with a virus that prevents you from fixing this error. Go to the Microsoft website for a special utility to help you remove the virus. Run the utility and check the computer for most widespread types of malware to remove it, or use another antivirus product. Visit our channel to watch a good video about removing antiviruses. Check the link below. And that is all for now. I hope this video helped you to fix this error. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss any new videos. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. Thank you for watching and good luck!